a bunch of stuff going on this weekend. We have our gender reveal on Saturday. And on Saturday, we also have extended family pictures with my whole side of the family. So I had to run a bunch of errands today to get last minute things for both of those. Then I also thought while I'm out and about, because you guys, we don't even have a Walmart in our town. So when I do drive to the city to shop, I wanna get things that I need. So I also did Coda's school supply shopping. So I crossed a bunch of stuff off my list today, which felt awesome. So first of all, I'm going to show you. Um, for family pictures, we have a super simple color scheme that we're going with, and it's just like kind of a light olive green, a light, light blue, some pink, some grays, some like beige, super simple. Um, I already had my outfit and Kinley's outfit, and Cody had his. And then we had a shirt for Canyon. So I just had to get an outfit for Dakota, Carson, and some pants for Canyon. Dakota's outfit, we went to Old Navy. We got these super cute olive green joggers, which I love. They're a super good price too. And then I got him this shirt. Because this shirt was $4. Go to Old Navy, I'm telling you. They have good sales right now. And then for Carson, I got him these jeans. These dark, my boys have the skinniest legs. So if I don't buy the skinny fit jeans, they just look silly, like way too baggy. And then I also got this shirt for Cars. Kind of pulling that olive green from Coda's pants into Carson's shirt, but it's very, very subtle. I liked it a lot. And then for Canyon, <laughs> I got him these jeans. You guys, he's in such an awkward fit stage, like size wise, because 2T fits him perfectly, but they're just barely starting to get short to where they look funny. So I got him 3T. I know they're gonna be way too long. We'll just have to cuff them until he grows into them. So that's all I bought clothing wise for family photos. Now we're gonna move on to school supplies. So I don't know about you guys, but where we live, we get very specific lists. Depending on your grade and your teacher, we get like a list in the mail sent to us saying this is exactly what your child needs to come to school with on the first day of school. Down to the brand, and like quantity count of each supply, it's very, very specific. Which is helpful because then I'm like, this is exactly what I need to buy. I'm not just grabbing random stuff that Dakota's not gonna use throughout the school year. So, I will show you really quick all of the items we got. We got his entire list done today, which was nice. So, the first item on his list was 10 Elmer's glue sticks. So, there are two pack, we got five of them. These glue sticks are two for a dollar at Walmart. We got all of these school supplies at Walmart. Super good guys. They wanted a 24 pack of number two pencils of this specific brand. Ticonderoga? Whatever this brand is right here. Then a multi-pack of three by three post-it notes. Um, these are super cheap as well and there's five in here. And then they wanted a four pack of black dry erase expo markers this one is actually cool because it was the same price as the four pack, but it has two bonus markers, so there's six in here instead of four. Heck yeah, we love bonus items. And then the next thing was Crayola Twistable Crayons, 24 count. So super specific, I'm not kidding. They tell you exactly what they want you to buy, which again, I enjoy, it's helpful for me. Then he needed some headphones. They do a lot of schoolwork on computers and tablets now, and they specifically say, do not bring earbuds because the earbuds fall out of little kids' ears. They struggle. Total will only be in first grade. So they wanted tight-fitting ones that would go over their heads. These were $8. I don't know how high quality they are, but only using it like an hour a day. I think that'll be pretty good. Then he needed a multi-pack of the pink erasers. Paper mate, pink pearl. I don't know. <laughs> That's just what the list said. But these, I think these were like 50 cents. Super, super inexpensive. And then the last thing on his list was two composition notebooks. Of course he picked green, it's his favorite color. And again, these were 87 cents, so inexpensive. So that was all of the Coda school supplies that he needed for the school year. And I think we only spent like, I wanna say like $27. And it was only that much because of the headphones that were $8, so killer deals on school supplies. The last few things I bought were just fun for our gender reveal party. I'm actually making a lot of our decorations 
and then my mom and sisters are helping with the food, so I didn't need to buy too much for that. But when I was at Walmart doing the school supply shopping, I happened to see these paper plates, the pink and the blue, and they say, oh baby. So I bought a couple packages of both of those colors so that people can make their guesses with their plates, you know? If you think I'm having a boy, get a blue plate. If you think I'm having a girl, get a pink plate. And then I thought these napkins were super cute, like the bold foil to match the bold foil on the plates. So, kind of a lot of random stuff, but it was all stuff we needed for this weekend. I kind of procrastinated a lot of that, but I'm so glad to have that all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini haul. I hope it was helpful in some way. And now we're gonna go see what the kids are up to. What's up guys? Today has been an awesome day. Well, First off, carpet, huh? this weather is awesome. Yeah, it is like perfect. It's overcast, it rained a little bit. It's just been so hot lately that it's been it's hard to cool down. So it's nice to have a day that's just cool and nice. These guys are playing in the fire pit, cleaning it out, huh guys? Yeah, we're cleaning the fire pit. Good job. Kitty, that's not where you go. That's where the fire goes. We better watch her when the fire is here. Yeah, I can't have her jumping in the fire. Uh-huh. You haven't had a good day? What's up, Tiny? Oh, Tiny, what's in your nose? You got a bloody nose, dude. No, it's just buggers. Don't mind their outfits from last night. It's just one of those days. Like, just just stay in your pajamas all day. Daddy, don't it's one of those kind of days. Take the rocks out and put them out. And put them back. So, because it, it, it would make the fire explode. Mm, probably not. But... It's, that only happens if they're like bigger rocks. Yeah, but look, big rocks, big rocks everywhere. Big, big rocks. rocks. Big rocks. <laughs> okay, dude. We're just, we're just making sure it doesn't look. Yeah, so we're throwing the rocks. Yeah, I know it doesn't look better. Do you like the fire pit? Yeah, it looks super yeah. good. Should we light a fire big in it rocks. tonight? Yeah, yeah. we could roast like hot dogs. Roast hot big. dogs? Yeah, we have hot dogs. Ooh. Marshmallow. Maybe we'll have to do that. Marshmallow or hot dogs. Yeah. You want to do that? Mm hmm. Ow! You want to do my bit? Hey! <laughs> Say good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Now you want to do my bit? Yeah, that's in the way. Look at this green rock I found in the fire pit. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Look out, Coda. Step back, bud. Gotta get some kindling if we're gonna have a fire. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have fire tonight. Yeah. And we're gonna light it. Cool. Oh! oh hey, boyfriend, scooch your booch back. Thank you. <laughs> Coda, do I need to teach you how to start a fire? This is not how you stack the wood. You want to build a teepee, Koda. You know, like a teepee, like the Indians. So what you do is the the bottom part. You want your kindling. That's where you'll the fire will actually start. You want the small pieces down here, and usually like a piece of paper will do good. But this will work too, I think. Then you want to build smallest logs to the biggest ones. Okay. Ooh, that, that'd be some good kindling, huh? Yeah. Good. This? More? Mm -hmm. No, that's good. Go, let's do a teepee. Okay, get, where's the smallest pieces? We want to build, like, real small and just build it up to bigger. So, like, this big. Oh, maybe we should put the big pieces yeah, of bark pieces. on top. Yep, and you gotta get them to stick. Like a teepee, okay? That's okay. You got it? Mm-hmm. What are you eating? Gum? Remember one time Some... when we were camping and we made a fire, um, the keys were stuck inside of our car. Oh, and yeah. We it. Yeah, and you stick like a... <laughs> That's a story for story time Sunday. <laughs> yeah, you
guys, is this so fun? Yeah. We're even crossing something off our summer bucket list. Oh yeah! The stories are on the campfire. Tell a story, Ken. Oh. <laughs> on our unfinished fire pit. We love it though. <laughs> All right, guys, we are done with the fire. Was that fun, guys? Yeah. Yeah. We told lots of creepy stories, Gary Campfire stories. Mom told the best. Mom told the best. She does tell good scary stories. Kind of the scary story master. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just packed up all the school supplies. Look, it's a backpack. Nice. That's not the backpack. No, we just, just we, we put it there for now. Oh, yeah, that's but that's gonna be it for us today, guys. We are so <laughs> grateful that you are watching. Thank you so much. We love you. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, get off of me. Bye. <laughs>